surprising. The royal family of Brunei has once again broken tradition. Traditionally, the Brunei royal family has married their cousins for generations. However, this time, Prince Abdul El Mateen of Brunei has married a commoner. But is this truly unprecedented in the family's history? And what's intriguing, he obtained his father, Sultan Hassan al Bolkaya's blessing. While many see the wedding as a fairy tale, some have voiced criticism. So why did the Sultan approve of his son marrying a commoner? What are the reasons behind the criticism? Was this truly the wedding event of the year? Stick around until the end of the video to uncover these in more details. Prince Abdul Mateen's union with Anisha Rosna binti Adam lasted for 10 days, drawing members of influential monarchies worldwide. It commenced on January 7th with the Khatam Kur An, during which the bride recited a portion of the Kur An. Anisha's simple yet luxurious white gown and hijab hinted at a departure from her usual style. Want to learn more? Stay tuned for further explanations later in the video. The dashing royal despite Prince Abdul Mateen's reserved demeanor, he has garnered a significant following on his Instagram account, where he shares attractive pictures of his athletic physique. His posts have earned him popularity among women, earning him the title Hot Royal. And one of Asia's most eligible bachelors however, with his recent marriage, the prince is no longer eligible. Born on August 10, 1991, in Brunei, Prince Abdul Mateen is the Sultan's fourth son and tenth child, currently sixth in line to the throne. Despite his royal lineage, his ambitions are vast. He commenced his journey with military training at the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst at 18, subsequently joining prestigious regiments. Seeking broader horizons, he ventured into politics, earning a degree in international politics from King's College London in 2014. Yet, his quest for knowledge persisted beyond graduation. Transitioning into a role alongside his father, he represented Brunei at significant events such as the 24th Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in Malta in November 2015. His humility and dedication led to a promotion to acting captain in 2016, all while pursuing a master's in international politics from the School of Oriental and African Studies, University of London. Despite his royal status, Prince Abdul Mateen remains grounded, driven by his passions and pursuits. During this period, the prince reportedly met his significant other, Intrigued to learn more about her, stay tuned to uncover the details. Transitioning to the Air Force, Prince Abdul Mateen completed a seven-month elementary flying training course with the British Royal Air Force by April 28, 2017. He continued his training as a helicopter pilot, proudly receiving his wings from his father upon returning to Brunei. He furthered his military training and took on diplomatic duties, representing his father in negotiations and attending events on his behalf one might wonder how he found time for leisure amidst his busy schedule. Given his packed agenda, it's no surprise that information about the prince's dating life is scarce. He was simply too occupied. However, in 2016, the prince described himself as funny and weird in a good way hinting at his personality. He eventually tied the knot with a strikingly beautiful woman. But with his hectic schedule, how did he woo his wife and manage to marry her? And how did they initially meet? According to reports, the couple met in England and began their relationship in 2018, but it wasn't until 2020 that they committed more deeply. While Prince Abdul Mateen is active on social media, sharing his captivating photos, not much is known about his personal relationships. He kept his relationship with Anisha discreet. However, speculation arose when they started appearing together at public events. Anisha attended Prince Abdul Mateen's sister's wedding in 2022 as his plus one. In 2023, they attended another family wedding, where they announced their engagement, endorsed by the Sultan himself in October 2023. The revelation came as a surprise since Anisha was a commoner. How did the Sultan endorse the relationship? What influenced his decision? Was the marriage arranged by the Sultan? Anisha is not of royal lineage, but she is not a commoner as widely believed. Anisha comes from a noble background. Her grandfather, Pihan Dato Ayasa, serves as one of the Sultan's advisors and is the founding chairman of the Royal Brunei Airlines, the country's largest airline. Due to her grandfather's position, Anisha has been associated with the Brunei royal family since childhood. As per a post on the prince's Instagram account, he and Anisha have known each other since childhood. Interestingly, Anisha's brother is one of the prince's close friends. Given these ties, can you see why the Sultan readily approved of the marriage? Furthermore, the Sultan himself has strayed from tradition. Did you know he was the 29th Sultan from the same family? Indeed, their family was known for intermarrying within their ranks. However, the Sultan diverged from this tradition when he married his second and third wives. 
Prince Abdul Mateen's mother, Mariam Abdul Aziz, was a flight attendant for Royal Brunei Airlines before marrying him. His third wife, Azrinaz Majar Hakim, was a Malaysian TV3 presenter. Now, do you understand why the Sultan supported this marriage? He simply isn't bound by tradition, and Anisha not wearing a hijab didn't deter him. Perhaps he anticipated her adoption of it for the wedding and remained unfazed. Could it be that he orchestrated the marriage? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. The truth is, the couple has known each other for a long time, and their relationship has been tested over time. Anisha and the prince share more than just love, they share hobbies too. The new princess shares her husband's passion for soccer, and has diverse interests. With a degree in economics, she co-founded a fashion brand called Silk Collective and a tourism venture named Authentirary. Anisha also has a knack for cooking, evident from the mouth-watering dishes she shares on Instagram. However, there's a dark secret in Anisha's family that could affect her marriage. Continuing with the wedding, following the Katam Kuoran, the couple celebrated their estiad at Berbedak, a lavish powdering ceremony, and conducted the Akkad Nikah, even more extravagant. Their wedding culminated in vows exchanged at Istana Nurul Iman, the world's largest residential palace. Despite adoration from fans, critics deemed the ceremony wasteful, labeling it decadence in the face of poverty nevertheless, this isn't the first time the Sultan has spared no expense for an event. For his 50th birthday he spent approximately $25 million and had Michael Jackson perform privately for him. The Sultan certainly knows how to spend lavishly. Do you believe his expenditures are justified? Happily ever after? More importantly, will the extravagant wedding strain the couple's relationship? Both have experienced divorce in their families the Sultan divorced Prince Abdul Mateen's mother and Anisha's parents also divorced after years of abuse. Will they learn from their parents' mistakes? or are they destined to repeat them? As the saying goes, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Furthermore, public backlash over Anisha's past relationship with Dan Bowman persists, despite ending long ago. Could this affect their relationship's future? Let's hope not. Biggest royal wedding of the year? People already dub this wedding as the royal event of the year, and the extravagant affair lives up to the hype. However, it's best to wait until other royal weddings this year before crowning it the best. Get ready for a whirlwind of royal weddings. Hughes Grosvenor, the Duke of Westminster, is set to marry Olivia Henson on June 7th, with King Charles III as his godfather, promising an extravagant guest list. Next, Princess Martha Louise of Norway will marry Direk Verret in August at a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And rumors swirl around Iman Pahlavi, the granddaughter of Iran's last Shah, for her potential spectacular wedding. With these grand events on the horizon, Will any outshine Prince Abdul Mateen and Anisha's wedding? Will the newlyweds break free from generational curses? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates.